still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. It's left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Mining Station, August 14th. Don't you have anything better to do than mess with that thing, Mikhailich? Oh, am I bothering you? We can't do anything without the welding burner, and this way, I can at least make a record. Ha! Did you hear that? Of course I did. I'm about to go deaf from their howling. Why do you want them recorded? I heard the Polish people are studying these migration patterns and whatnot. So, they are buying records and stuff, but they have to be taken properly with date and place and all the... I'll help you if the date and place correct this time. They'll read it on your gravestone. Forget this thing. Left across the square. Oh, hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? 
How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. Times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> no antibiotics, no suture threat. 
Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking on Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. Huh, I doubt there is any magical salvation of you. What could possibly have survived on the surface? After all, I left the order. And now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us young. Enough. Artyom says. Artyom dies. Like a broken record. Had the guys not made it in time, you'd be a widow now. Stop it! I have no idea. No, you stop it. There's a comfortable flat waiting for you two in force. A far cry from this. What do you mean we pretend? Exactly that. And it's time you stop thinking only about yourself. You know how short we are on veteran fighters. With your experience, you two must teach the recruit. I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right. You gave Ooh, us a scare, Duke. brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom! A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother... Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, Privyat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's official! Yeah. I knew it! Yeah, well, you guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. 
Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. away if it was getting too comfortable here. should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a- Then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! Thank <laughs> you. 
A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank god. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. Uh. 
like this. Oh, shit, it doesn't sound like a good career prospect. Damn, watchmen broke through. Oh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on! If 
escorts can rest for tomorrow. Don't push your luck, old timer. They aren't people. Put him in a cell. He needs time to cool his head. We've had just about enough really? of your whining, you old fuck! You're heading straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Ah. Animals! Ah. How can they? Uh, what can I do? Ah. A mutant? A watchman! A human? And, uh, how did you... Oh. oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! You came for her! All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Oh, Yermak, are you through your bout of conscience? Hey, the hell is happening? It's the fucking breaker again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell the other. It's quieter that way. So you can use your head after all. <laughs> See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. You can't follow me. Take that ladder instead. Your mark! What's taking you so long? Uh, a shoelace got untied. I'm coming now. Hey. I'm on the carriage. There's a failure at the generators. What? You should see it. Is it safe in here? Yeah, I totally need you to I tell mean, me what I should do. Better fix this line here. Everything is under control. Come Don't on, sweat. move it. Your bag of bones. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? By the way, what happened to the work? What's with that mumbling? It's none of your foul business. I'm just That's talking to myself. I got a memory problem, you see. Everyone got to ask questions. Ah, your Mac. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah. Good luck to you. You're dead now. 
It's sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! Hey, guys! Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Agent Egg reporting. Naturally, they're pretending to be civilians. 
You rookies all think you know everything after a week of service. Yeah, yeah, I don't know shit, I know. This place looks good. Look, still we should stay alert. Freezing to death here. Like the shivers. Oh, oh, hey. What was that noise over there? Nothing here. Uh, nobody expected anything to be there. Oh yeah, join the army. Stand around. For what? What the fuck? Some strange noise from over there. Who could have dropped this? <laughs> no discipline whatsoever. Check the generators, we'll shift this now. Why well, check them anyway? With a scope, you can see them clearly from a tower. They spin if there's wind, and don't if there's none. What's the point in actually going there? Don't give me that, Grigori. The enemy strikes where you don't expect. It's an alert, after all. That's true, I guess. Do you remember the time they had a shot at the second station? The Northwest wasn't covered for them. <laughs> it's a signal for so let it get fixed or so. So what were those signals about? <laughs> you hear before Jamming came back? Washington? Washington is alright, don't you worry. Waiting for us to mess up. Ah, well. Enough of that. Hey, you get what it was? <laughs> 